Today's topic is on days on the market. Um, it's a topic that's obviously skewed and misconstrued mostly by buyers. Um, what buyers will typically do is when they're looking at a property, especially if it's one that they like, they will typically say something like, hey, how long has this one been for sale? Well, I would tell you a lot of factors go into days on the market and it's not really as relevant as you may think in most cases. Uh, days on the market involves, for example, a home that's been overpriced and just did a price reduction recently, or a home could have been under contract for 60 or 90 days, uh, with the result then being the time on the market being over 100 days. Uh, you also have to realize, too, that some sellers just aren't flexible. So if their property has been overpriced for, let's say, 200 days and they haven't adjusted their price down at all, well, obviously then they're not apt to take a lower offer either. Uh, the whole key either way, especially for sellers, for days on the market, is to try and sell your home in 30 days or less. Because you're new. You're the shiny coin. Uh, everybody wants you and there's a fear of loss if they don't buy you quickly. So pricing your home correctly to keep those days on the market at less than 30 days is beneficial. Either way, uh, it's taken on a case-by-case -case basis, uh, consult your realtor, hopefully me, and we can talk about exactly how days on the market are relevant in that particular case. Thanks much.